Today it's Friday, February 17, 2023. The guys they removed the engine transmission. The car is over there. All right. I separate the transfer case back over here. I have it down there on the floor, gently. And like I said, the transmission, the clutch is supposed to be beautiful, supposed to be excellent, supposed to don't have any problem inside. Mohamed, give me please one minute. Don't stop making sound. Uh, inside is supposed to be beautiful. I will can open this transmission inside of the engine room, not outside like what I'm doing usually. All right, now the guys are all gonna support the engine from the bracket to don't hit anywhere when we remove the transmission. Okay, is it new? Okay, sir. That's the plan. Let's move on. Finally, I'm gonna use the tray that I have for the transmissions. Yay, why not? <laughs> Just saying, now before, before anybody touch the engine, all right? Intake air temperature, sensor, bank two. Intake temperature sensor, bank one. See the cables. If you just route this cable behind of this plug, it's not gonna be so much tight, you don't have a tension. You can just put it behind this plug, under this pipe, and put it here in place. It's gonna be more freely. It's not gonna be on stress like this. And 7.25 inside of the engine room. And the only thing what I have here is the seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a seal. For here back, I have to open it to be able to remove the drums. Front and back. Waiting, standing by for the clutches. I'm gonna start opening it now. And when I'm gonna see the clutches, I'll continue. They told me that they drain the oil. I'm gonna find out, I guess, if it overflows. Finally, I use the tray. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Let's move on. They bring me also the clutches. I have the clutches here. I'll show you later on when it comes to time. Not now. I need also this transmission oil because I have for the 722.9. I don't have for the 725 here. Yep. Ah, I need also a bucket. I have a clean bucket. I think I have a clean bucket. I have it as a backup. It's small. It might not fit. We'll guess about that. I need to soak the clutches inside. That's why we can see about that. Oh, it looks clean. It looks nice. Yeah, you're gonna tell me 53,000 kilometers. What are you expecting? Move on. For the 53,000 kilometers, it's normal. It's okay. The screen looks nice and clean. All right. I didn't show any pieces inside. That's looking good. Beautiful. Moving on. Now the transmission filter is here. I don't want I don't know if they want to change it. I just covered it with a nylon to don't be contaminated. I didn't I haven't even cleaned the magnets. Alright? Once again, I don't know if they're gonna replace it or if they're gonna use the same one. There is no problem because you have plenty of access when you install it. Alright? And then I prepare here carton, nylon, all right, clean, to put the valve housing in this place. You know, to don't have any headache, to don't be contaminated, and wrapping it until it comes the time for the installation. Once again, it didn't have a catastrophic failure. It does have, I guess it doesn't have burnt clutches. It was bone stock, the car. The oil looks very clean, filter looks very clean, so, by the way, by the way, the old clutch that the one that we're gonna remove from the transmission, it need to be soaked in a transmission fluid, the same type. If you leave it out and come dry, it's not not come dry. It need to be always in a transmission fluid, the clutches, the wet clutches, in general. Let's move on. Now, the actuator for the parking brake out. I just came with the magnet that has here. It's okay. Valve housing, I think that I showed you this earlier, right? Steel plates, clutches, friction discs, metallic discs. All right, moving on. I crack it open, now we're gonna open it. To continue. It's not been abused. I don't see any big marks. 
It looks fine. It looks okay. Yeah, I can't do it with one hand. Moving on, continue. Yes, yeah, shit, I didn't put oil. And hey, one second, Omar. Omar! Now, I have also the welders. Yeah, I have to wait. I'm waiting for Mr. Omar to come now. All right, I'm continuing opening the transmission. Okay, yeah, of course, I'm waiting for you. Come. I was not expecting this. What's this? Yeah, yeah. There was some abuse. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. So it's not a new like what they're saying. But uh, yeah, we don't care about the clutches. It's okay, but it's not because they told me from the office it's brand new. It's not brand new. It has fifty-three thousand kilometers. That's what you told me yesterday, right? Yeah, And I can see some wear here, and it was bone stock. Stock down pipe, stock turbo, yeah, stock fine. It's very strong, but I like in the stock tune like this one. If you are launching it, it's formatic, you know. If you overheat the oil, if you, uh, yeah, exactly what I said. If you overheat the oil, you can have this. Uh -huh. If you push it, you can have this. I love it, huh? What? Finally, huh? What finally? Uh, ah, the tray. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. First time that I'm using it. The, no, I notice. Yeah. I just don't want to be contaminated, don't want to oh, wash all the transmission. Like this, right, yeah, the same in the same positions. You see a little bit here, you know, but yeah. it's normal, it's not a big deal. There was a little bit the magnet for the parking actuator and there are also the magnets down here. Mm -hmm. But you since you see this, it's a good thing to change also I the have filter. This one right now. Uh, no no worries. If you have it, we're gonna do it with a different way. I'm gonna put the old one, and when you install it, because we have to rebuild oh, the engine, right? Yes, 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 yes. So, because we're gonna store it somewhere, this it might get some scratches down. Leave the old one, and to change it, it's not a big deal, you know? Yeah. It's eight bolts. So, we're gonna keep this one just for moving it, and at the end, we're gonna put a new filter. Alright, moving on. Let piston, no need. I need also my special custom tool to close by again. Classic. Alright. Moving on, ah, by, by the way, and the transmission oil. Two liters supposed to be more than enough. I don't have a big bucket to shock the classes, you know. I have to, I'm gonna empty this, and I'm gonna go to wash it. I'm gonna use this one, because the other one's a small one. I'm not gonna fit the class inside. I'm gonna spend all day. But with this one, we'll get just throw it in the class and everybody happy. That's what, what I'm gonna do. Uh, can I give it to the guys outside to do it for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. To continue here, you know, that's why. Put this aside. Put it here. And moving on. You like it? I put a small battery, auxiliary battery. And I fix also the bearing, by the way. Yeah, this is a different video, but I'm just happy that I finished it. Yay. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Roma. Always, always with one phone in your ear. Let me stop the video and continue. Here we go. Only the B05 has a hot spot on the steel plates. All the rest looks excellent. Planetary gears, sun gears, bearings. There is no problem at all. Shaft, it's excellent. The seals are excellent. All right. And once again, it's a new car, 53,000 kilometers. It does have the age, does have the mileage to having any problem. All right. Everything look, looks excellent now. They clean the guy is the bucket for me. It looks like they did a good job. Putting the fluid inside, getting the new clutches. Put a timer. Timer, one second, reset 60 minutes. It's more than enough. All right. And soaking the clutches and start working on the transmission finalize it. There is no wear. Not something crazy at least. Splendid, moving on. The book is here. Fine. Let's start working on it. The good stuff. Yeah, I might need another liter. Yep. I will gonna need another liter. 
it won't gonna be enough for all these classes. Let's get some. I put three liters, but like always, I'm gonna disturb it a little bit to don't sit one on top of each other. The bubbles, it's when it starts soaking the oil, when it starts drinking the oil, and I need to make this. I'm gonna move this down, the other one I'm gonna bring it up to get everywhere for the next hour. Alright, I'm gonna go outside to continue with other stuff. Just every 10-20 minutes I'm gonna come to mix it up. Yeah. Moving on, let me close the cover, I don't want to grab it with oil. My right hand is dry, my left hand is wet. Yeah, I have to stop the camera. Yay. I was outside and I was thinking, I have to do something, I have to do something, and then I remember the clutches, okay? Now, I finished with the clutches, it passed more than an hour. <laughs> That's the old clutches, your nylon bag, alright? The seal, I put it out, I'm gonna take it, uh, put it over there, I have to take it from there and put it in the box. So this goes back to the customer, back to the owner, and me, I'm start closing it, putting it back together. We are looking good. Here we go, almost done. Only the brake is out. I put the snap ring back here, back in place. So when we're gonna put it together, don't fill everything out. Okay, it's not gonna fill out, but okay. Yeah, oh no, it's gonna fill the inner. Now, now, I'm almost done. What do I need? I need to secure this, this spring. There is a retaining ring here. And I have a custom tool for this job that you're mounting it here and squeezing it down and then you can put the snap ring in place. The thing is, where in hell I have it? Where the fuck I put it? That's what I don't remember. Let me show you, by the way, the parts. The clutches are here, the seal is there, all right? These are the extra bugs. All this belongs to the owner. Fine, leave it there. Let me find my custom tool because I don't want to make it again from the beginning. It's yeah, it's just squeezing down the spring, this spring here to put inside the ten uh, clip, ring clip. Yeah, okay, you get the picture, right? Moving on, and now I can finally close it. It's now putting back in place. The piece is okay, beautiful, excellent. Time to put the remaining clutches. Align the clutch and then closing it. They're looking good, looking good. And finally, closing the tower. I'm taking my time with the housing. Why? First of all, I'm getting one yoke. All right, I'm putting it here. Yeah, to be able to move it left and right. And then you come here and you see that all the clutches, they have engagement and the steel plates are moving up and down like this and the same thing here that means center inside and everything is in place it's aligned properly here it close the o-ring with the for the oil pump with a small spacer it went already in place we're looking good let's put the two bolts now here removing the yoke no need anymore and continue now, now it's actually even before it was straightforward yeah just putting it back and like I said, the oil filter, I'm going to put now the old one. When it comes the time, because this, they're going to cover it and they're going to leave it down on the floor. To so don't scratch the, the new filter, we're going to use the old one. And then when it comes the time, we're changing this, we put the new one and back to the customer. That's the story. Moving on. Like this better, right? Or if, uh, I can make it half like that. Like this even better. Yay. Okay, moving on. Oil pickup tube, parking brake actuator, back in place, continue. Finish with the valve housing, torque down, ready for the filter. Like I said, Womar has a double filter because one, it's for the main pump, for the mechanical pump that has a chain front, okay? And the other one's for the electric pump. That's the reason why they have two filters down. Moving on. Oil pan and filter back in place. All right. Okay. 
I call Mr. Omar to come here. This is me to pass the lines. Omar, do you know what I forget? I forget to put one tap here the drain plug. to drain the oil from inside. I was supposed to tell you, but I said no because you are. And why you didn't say to me that? Tell me, you fucking idiot tassos, why you didn't put a drain plug here? You know what Now you know I call you here because we have to lift it up together to pass through the screws here, to place it here because I want to fix the seal back over here. I bring the wood, sir. And finalize it. What wood? No need the wood. It's not touching the input shaft on the 725. Ah, okay. We can just pass it there and then we're gonna lie it down to be this back and then to empty it. And then I have to fix something to drain the oil from here. One tap something, I don't know. We're gonna see. One minute only. And that's it. Bracket in place, don't fall off. All right. Seal back in place. Bolts being torqued down. Going outside of the engine room, they're gonna block the oil lines here. Don't fall anything inside. They're gonna take care about the transmission. They're gonna clean it to be beautiful. Brake cleaner to not have oil marks from my hands here and there. Wrapping it and at the end, changing the transmission filter and putting fresh oil inside. Everybody happy. That's it for the transmission. Whenever I have space, because inside I have how many engines, I'll go and continue with the engine for this car to install pistons and anything else. That's it for now. Thank you. By the way, that's why I keep the clutches for an hour instead of an oil. Usually, I'm keeping it half hour, 20 minutes. In this case, because we're gonna stay a little bit longer, the transmission, I keep it for an hour to absorb more oil, the clutches. Now that's the end. Uh, by the way, Friday today, have a nice weekend, eh? For those who's not working tomorrow, yay.